Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Siebert. Memory erases the wrinkles on your face Let's me go far away to our home place Welcome to Farmers Valley, Nebraska. This is where we live, out here in the lake in Nebraska. Um, and I sing songs about the Midwest and uh, all the places that I've been and things I enjoy in life and uh, just really enjoy playing music of all kinds. I provide family entertainment and my programs are always specifically planned for each event. My passion is live performance music. I don't think you can pin him down to any style. Paul's like a chameleon. He, he can change his colors to uh, match his environment very easily and very well. I use a number of acoustic instruments in each show, acoustic guitars, banjo, hammer dulcimer, accordion, and various folk instruments of all kinds for an all-ages musical entertainment show uh, for any kind of venue you can imagine. I have probably close to a dozen different acts that I have, complete with costume and styles of music that go along with it. First he's, he kind of dresses up like a hippie and then he's playing Hendrix songs and then he finishes that set and then he comes back out with a corn cob pipe and an old cowboy hat or something on and then he's singing country songs and it, not many people can pull that off. And Paul's just not one thing. How's about cooking something up? I said, how's about cooking something up with me? I played guitar most years uh, growing up. I played saxophone in high school and picked up banjo, fiddle, mandolin, dobro, uh, numerous other instruments along the way. Uh, I first saw the hammer dulcimer probably back in 1974, 75 and fell in love with it instantly. I, I heard a guy playing one and I just was gravitated toward it. I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. So that's one of my favorite instruments is the hammer dulcimer. I think that's what makes him so special, is that he can do so many things equally well. The thing that strikes me about him the most is that his enthusiasm uh, for what he does uh, and uh, the versatility that he has to adapt to his audiences is definitely one of his strengths. Paul is focused always on how he can put the best quality music out, put the highest quality show out. He's always about how can I be the very best entertainer and for these people that I'm standing in front of for this moment of time. I'm not found on a big stage very often. I prefer to be right in with my audience as a strolling troubadour. There's so much great music out there that needs to be heard, well, the train and come. that's what people want me to play. Pop American music to classic standards to country to hokas to folk music to you name it. Family entertainment is exactly what I'm looking to do. You know, I've played I've played everything from heavy metal to polkas for years. You know, I've played in the bar scene and stuff, but you know, when I can connect with people, it's mostly in the family setting. So the type of venues that I look for is where I know I can connect from little kids down to two and three years old up to the you know the people in the audience who are in their 70s and 80s. You know, so I play music from the 1940s all the way up to the current. I play children's music. And honestly, that is the best place to connect with people. He's interested not only in, in working with the seniors, which is what he does for me, but in also in working in other venues. Uh, he's, he's got a, a wealth of historical knowledge and uh, does a lot of, of historical work as well, and, and period work, and uses the instruments from the period as well, which is very unique.
he has what I think is the ideal setup because he does so many shows every year. He has a very good sounding Bose PA system. It doesn't require much time to set up. He can set it up, 10 minutes later he can be going. He just stands up and he can sing all night long. You never sing the same song twice and sing anything that anybody would like to hear. His show tends to be very interactive. Uh, he does a lot of sing-alongs, he does a lot of, of history of the music, uh, so he not only gives them the musical entertainment, but he also uh, enlightens them a little bit as to the histories of the music that he's doing or the instruments that he's working with. So he, he has a very different act from uh, a lot of folks because this is very, very much interactive. He uses a wireless mic, so he's able to use, uh, to move around in the audience. Paul is great. He's just great at bringing that audience right, you know, right in front. He connects with them so well. He's just naturally good at making contact with people like that when he's entertaining. He, he definitely has a heart for the work he does. I don't ever want him to give it up. I've seen the responses of the audiences and it's amazing. No matter where he plays, it's all the same. Get smiles and they start singing along, so I know he's connecting. I love what I do and I, I know people see that. You know, happy faces and smiles is you know, definitely a sign of that I'm doing what I do people love.